All right, so here we are. This is the last class of 129S. And my other classes, I'm not introducing new materials at the end, but this one, I wanted to show you some of these hacking APIs project because it really belongs in this topic, although it's not in the Web Security Academy, although, as far as I'm concerned, it should be. Um, the OWASP API top 10 is out there, just like the top 10 for Web Security Vulnerabilities 10. There's... Um, the OWASP API Security Project is here. Application programming interfaces, which we're going to see in great detail, are web requests which ask a service for some data. And here's the top 10 broken object level authorization, user authentication, excessive data exposure, and so on. There's a top 10 vulnerability here, just like there is for other web requests. And the main reason why I suppose this is not in the Web Security Academy is you need another tool besides BERT. The other tool you need is Postman, is the standard tool used for this. So that's what we're going to set up today, is Postman, and look at a couple of API vulnerabilities. And so you'll find all this stuff on the projects. And I'm just going to do the first few of these API projects. So we'll, let me open this, and I'm going to, I guess I'll just call this the first video API 100. All right, so uh, I'm following a textbook, which I put here. Hacking APIs, and there's a lot of projects from that book and a tool from that book, so I just put it in a cloud server so we can use it. So there's a thing called Crappy. So let me go here. Let's start up Burp. All right. All right. Okay, here's Burp. So I go proxy, turn off intercept, and open the browser. Oh, well, that's good. I didn't know that. Yeah, all right. Anyway, then I'm going to go here. That's good. It should be off. I always turn it off anyway. Anyway, so now I go to crappy.samsclass.info, and here it is. Now I'm going to log out to get back to the original. Okay, here's the original home page. And now, um, all right, so we're going to examine the... Um, uh, source of this. So I'm going to drag these instructions to the other window so I can follow them and demonstrate it here. All right. So in Burp's browser, the first thing we're going to do is find the API endpoints. So to do that, we open the developer tools, view developer tools, and then go to the network tab. All right. And now we refresh this page. And you see down here, uh, let me make sure I'm getting it all in the video. Um, it's just a web page um, it, which has an API which is vulnerable. It's designed uh, for this for these kind of projects. So you see these various things loading here and I'm just going to resize this if I can get it to stop doing stupid things. All right, so it fits in the there. All right. So you see the various pieces of it opening here and there's one piece we want to examine and that is the one called FD3. This one, uh, fd3chunk.js, that's the JavaScript. So you right-click that, I should be able to move this over there. The fd3 and so on, chunk.js, a JavaScript file. Um, so I right-click it and open in sources pane. All right, and by the way, in default, you'll probably see it look like this. This is usually the default view where it just has all the code in a long horizontal line that goes on and on and on and it's very hard to make it bigger that it just goes on and on and it's very hard to read so uh, see if I can somehow I guess I got to shrink the font a bit anyway the point is you can hit this thing to printify it and now it's easier to read now it prints it out in a, in a more readable way so um, now we're gonna find the API calls in there and for that all we have to do is search for API. So control F or command F on a Mac API and down here you find the API calls. Sometimes they're harder to find but these are the API endpoints. So I'm um, try and make it bigger. Yeah it's going to make it bigger some garbage happens so I can't make it bigger. All right. Um, anyway uh, so this, so this shows you API auth login, API v2 user dashboard, API auth so you notice a couple things. 
These have API in the URL, so these are not pages intended to be loaded in a browser. They are endpoints expecting to receive requests which load into an app or something. That's what APIs are. You also notice an inconsistency here. Here's auth v3, here's API v2, here's auth login. So it looks like this is a sloppily made API, or there was some stuff, and then they added some version 2 stuff, and then they added some version 3 stuff. So that suggests a vulnerability. There might be old versions of things sitting around that are insecure, one of the many flaws you can make. But you can see there's a lot of API endpoints here. So that's the first thing you have to do is find the API endpoints. And that's all there is to the first project. So let me stop this video.